Live from Fairfield, Connecticut, a Garden State rivalry is renewed as third-seeded Mammoth takes on number four FDU with an NCAA bid on the line. This is the Men's Soccer Championship 2011. Starts with it. As you see, FDU will be in blue, Mammoth in white, an early opportunity served across the box. I don't so think we're going to see seven like we did in the 08 final. Serves in, purred in, headed it, and Lissick is there. Schmid at the top of the circle will let a shot go. This one just sailing high, and I believe Lissick got a hand on it. This should have resulted in a Mammoth corner, but a great rip at goal from Joseph Schmid. Allen. Swings one out. That one headed down by Jeffrey, but in the wrong direction and cleared now by FDU. Extra possession time here for Mammoth. Jim Honda battles with Allen. Allen able to keep it alive. Into the box for Perrin with time. Down towards the six-yard line. Across. Nobody there for Mammoth, but Luke. He will blast one. That one saved by Lissick. In now. Off the foot of Soka. A scramble down low will give a goal for Mammoth. And that player, another freshman, Pelé Soka, his fifth goal of the season. Luke, the freshman in the semifinals, got one for Mammoth. Soka gets into the act here today. Extremely patient and wait for his teammates to catch up. We're going to get another look here. Here's Pernan slicing in from the right, ahead of the defense. Could have gotten a shot off there. Instead, was smart enough to pass back. There's the initial shot that was saved by Lissick. Ball still loose. Nice spin around by Soka, and he puts it just inside the back corner, just inside the right post. You hear the horn. We have played 45, and it is Mammoth with a one nothing advantage over FDU. Bob uh, McCourt, the Mammoth Hawks with a one nothing lead here at halftime. Coach, it was a, a fast pace uh, in the early going, fast tempo, and then you guys were able to get the goal from Soka there with 18 minutes to go. Talk about that goal. Yeah, I thought he did a good job sticking with the play. It was uh, one play, went up one shot went off the post and they just kind of stuck with it and finished the play. It's been a year of obstacles for your team and today one more to overcome with Clark out of the lineup uh, but it's been a next man up uh, mentality how's your team uh, dealing with that so far here in the first half? Yeah I think we're doing a great job when we put the ball down and play there's no question that we can do a good job with it we just got to do a little bit more of that sometimes it becomes a little direct because guys are a little nervous in the final but if we keep the ball I think we're going to be fine. And what's it going to take here in the final 45 to close this thing out? I think we can't get involved with any referee situations. There's a lot of crying on their end with referees. I think we just have to go out and play our game and not worry about anything else. Coach, best of luck in the second half. Thank oh, you. And Coach Mammoth has the early one nothing lead here at the half. What adjustments does FDU have to do in order to get the equalizer? Well, we have to take control of the game a little better and uh, be a little sharper in attack. And what was the, the, the mood of the team in there in the, in the half? Are they energized, ready to come out for the second half? Ready to go. All right, Coach, we'll let you get back to work. Thank you. Thank but you. No call and now cleared out by Chim Honda. The giveaway to Schmidt. Schmidt is knocked down. That will get a call. Lissick has the wall set up. Allen will take it. Looked for Turnin. Trying to go towards the goal and throw here from FDU. Played across the box. This one deflected up. Putans is there. That one in. FDU will get the goal. It was number nine, Jonathan Gonzalez with the, tack, uh, the tally. Breakdown in the box for Mammoth. We are tied at one. Will be Derek Luke with an in-swinger. Top of the box. This one headed down. Hamilton there. Luke is there. Low shot. Deflected out. And FDU with a counter opportunity. Luke can be lethal, but that shot never got through. Well, went off the back heel of Gonzalez. Schmid will push off to his left for Vasquez. Chipped into the box. Far side. Hamilton is there. Across the box. And Lissick has to dive and make the save. Great job by Lissick. Luke down towards the box. Has it off a misplay from Wells. Luke looking to get the shot off. Goes to his left. Stood up. Pern in. Is there. One touch time. And up over the top. Lissick with a magical save. Seconds remaining. Last chance here for... Nine, the Hawks, Allen eight, into the box, seven, Vasquez there, six, this one from Luke, five, deflected four, out, and we three, will move two, one, to overtime. Four, I'll head for Luke. Luke trying to sprint through the double team, gets down into the 18-yard box, played across, Sotka tried to keep on, and Preciado will control for FDU. Luke with some space, 1v1 against Preciado, cuts to his right. We'll bend one forward. That one will sail up over the top. Six, five, five seconds four, remaining. Three, Sherman two, swings and misses, one. and we will play 
a second overtime here from Fairfield, Connecticut. Escobar with space. Sends one towards the top of the box. Alvin is there to calmly collect and push out for Mammoth. Headed up in the air. Pernin and Preciado both there. Pernin pulled down by Preciado. Mammoth will get the restart here with a half minute left. And everybody's going to come up here. Pernin's down. Clock's still moving. Everybody's going to come Mammoth up. Mammoth wants Mammoth. numbers and it's a goal! The goal for the freshman, Kalei Sotka. Pernin down on the ground and Sotka let it rip and able to beat Jacob Lissick. Pernin who was down. And then Sotka, the freshman, rips the right-footed shot and beats Lissick. Mammoth wins it 2-1. to one. The 2011 Northeast Conference Men's Soccer Tournament Most Valuable Player with two goals in the championship game, including the game winner in overtime from Monmouth, Kali Sotka. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2011 Northeast Conference Men's Soccer Champion, Monmouth Hawks. Here with the Snyders of Hanover, player of the game and the tournament MVP here in 2011, Kelly Sotka. Congratulations on the championship. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now take us through the first goal because you scored both goals here today. The first goal gave your team a little bit of momentum in the early going. Uh, what did you see there on the first goal? I saw Derek Luke has a great opportunity to shot the ball. And uh, they have like a, one guy out of the field. So I figured out the uh, goalkeeper is like a deepest man. So I thought I'm going to flick it in. And I hit the post first. And I bounced back to me. And I just... As hard as I can, and uh, he went back of the net, so great feeling. First goal is always important. And then a little bit of a flair for the dramatics there at the end. 20 seconds remaining in the second overtime. Uh, there was a whistle for a collision at the middle of the field, but you guys played it quickly coming up, and you ended up netting the game winner and the championship winning goal. Take us through that sequence. Well, that's why we play soccer. It's a great game, and uh, everything can happen. And, uh, yeah, we saw like 30 seconds left and a free kick from the middle of the field. And uh, I just said, Eric, look at pass, pass, pass. We have not much time left and uh, I just hit it as hard as I can and uh, that's that was once in a lifetime maybe and now for the team it's their third straight trip to the NCAA tournament but you're first so how excited are you to be a part of this and to play uh, at the next step in the NCAA tournament it's unbelievable we have a great team great group of seniors a couple of juniors and a couple of sophomores we have a great team great chemistry I love to be here great team so we have to get us go to today today we can celebrate a little bit and uh, tomorrow we have to get keep Keep her head on to the NCAA tournament. Well, congratulations on the MVP. Celebrate and then get back to work for the tournament. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Kelly Sotka, the 2011 NEC tournament MVP and our Snyders of Hanover player of the game. Let's send it over to Matt Harmon, who's standing by with the winning coach. Matt? All right, Craig, appreciate it. Great to hear from Kelly, who was a hero today as we welcome in eighth-year head coach Rob McCourt. Coach, getting used to this, I would think, but I would imagine that even though you've had three prior NEC tournament wins, this one extremely special. Yeah, it's a really dramatic game. I mean, we, we did a great job of getting on the, the board early, and then FDU did a great job of coming back and putting us under pressure and scoring a goal. Uh, and for us to score with 20 seconds left or something like that, it was really dramatic. It was uh, exciting. That's what college athletics are all about. One of the rare times that an NEC team has won the tournament championship three years in a row, and maybe a year that I know you expected to be back here, but maybe a lot of people said after Ryan Kinney graduates, Brian Merritt graduates, how good can Mammoth be? But a perfect infusion of youth, and boy, did you need it today with Sotka. Yeah, Kale is only a freshman, so his future is... Uh you know, the, the future is very bright for him. You know, we've had so many guys from Huey to Dan Bostock to Ryan Kinney to Brian Merritt. You know, we can just keep naming a whole bunch of guys that have come through the program, and everybody says, how are you going to replace them? And we've just been fortunate. Some young guys have stepped in that we didn't expect to have immediate impact. And, you know, Derek Luke has been unbelievable all year. Kale has been unbelievable. Penfold's been great. So uh, the young guys are really stepping up and doing the job for us. Now, the senior leadership, again, has been spectacular. I mean, some of the guys who carried kind of the torch this year in R.J. Allen and Anthony Vasquez, Noguera, and Max Hamilton. I mean, it's a class that will go down really in history as at least right now the best class Mammoth has ever had. Yeah, I think, you know, it's, it's just been amazing what these guys have been able to achieve. They've been ranked you know, as high as fourth and fifth in the country. Uh, they won four regular season conference, regular seasons. They've won three uh, postseason tournaments. They're playing the NCAA now for the third time in four years. Uh, they're going to look back at their careers and say, wow, this has been a really special experience. And that's what you want for student-athletes, good experience. 
Were you thinking at any point during the course of this game, boy, if we if we lose in overtime or if we lose in penalty kicks, are we going to be able to get an at-large bid, or does that even thought even cross your head during the course of the game? You know, we just try to win this game first and then let the chips fall where they may if you don't win that game. So, you know, I, I, I stuck by the guys. I still felt good about going into penalty kicks. They proved uh, on Friday that they were very uh, cool and calm and upperclassmen-like uh, in their approach to the penalty kicks. So I, focus was on this game first, and I think we probably would have gotten an at-large bid anyway. Well, you don't have to worry about it. You get the automatic bid right now, so you can kind of sit back and enjoy the selection show tomorrow. I mean, any thoughts moving into it? I mean, maybe a little bit different this year where I think you were expecting a home game. I would think maybe this year you'd be on the road in that first round. I have no idea. You know, we thought we were going to be home a couple years ago, and we weren't. Uh, we thought we were going to get a bye. We didn't, and we got a home game. We didn't expect to get a home game. So wherever they take us, uh, you know, they're good. whoever's facing us is going to have a team that's really rallying up and in a good spirit right now. So uh, this is what you want for a tournament-type environment. Well, I appreciate a couple of words. Enjoy the ride home. Enjoy tomorrow. And obviously we'll look forward to uh, success for the Northeast Conference coming up this week. Thank you very much. All Thanks, right. guys. That is Rob McCourt, the eighth-year head coach. Mammoth wins it over FDU 2-1.